Okay, that looks like more clearer. Hi! Oh, my lipstick is looking like the aftermath of me having eaten lunch. It happens, guys. It happens. Um, I am live. We are live. How's it going out there in the world of the of the the interwebs? This is yesterday's water. That's why it has the little bubble things on it. Yeah. It's been sitting there since yesterday. And I'm gonna drink it. Cause now it's distilled. Or so they say. So Rainbow's jealous. My husband and I were kissing and she was getting mad. <laughs> she gets jealous. She loves daddy and mommy, but she doesn't want us to love each other too much because she loves mommy more and she doesn't, she gets jealous of daddy when he kisses mommy. So it's kind of cute. Anyway, how's it going, peoples? How's it going? Uh, looks like I got to get my, my IG. We are on. All right. I'm always forgetting to like hit the right button on IG. For some reason, I'm hitting something else and I'm having a moment. Kids are going to be playing because mommy's doing a, a live stream. And so they, that's their time that they get to play. Actually, they play. Anytime mommy's around, they're happy and they play. When I'm not here, they're just like. And I know, like, I watched a video. Somebody was like, yeah, I thought my dog was all depressed when I wasn't there. And then I took a video and it was all this other kind of stuff. And the cat, dog's acting crazy. But I'm like, I don't think she actually does. I really think she waits until I get home to even drink water or eat her food or anything. Because she does all that when I get home. Um, but hi, Linda. How's it going? How's the European scene over there? Dee Dee Make. Hi, Dee Dee Make. How's it going? Ethereal Essences. Look at all my girls coming in here to say hi. How's it? How's it? Uh, how's the week been? That's what I was trying to say. I, my, my talker wasn't working for a second. Sometimes that happens. We went to Golden Corral. That's kind of becoming our thing. We go to one of, we either go to the Chinese buffet here or the Golden Corral. Um, I'm, I would like to think I could, you know, eat my money's worth. Although it's not that bad because it's forty dollars for two people for drinks and everything. And I mean, I, you get dessert, you get all sorts of stuff, right? So I'm like, it's. I mean, that's that's still not bad. So, fave things, etc. Fave things, etc. Hi, fave things, etc. We're talking about some of my favorite things as well. Golden Corral in Plymouth. No, that's the other direction. We both went to, what's the one north of St. Paul? Yeah, I haven't been to Plymouth for forever because we're in the St. Paul area. So, Angelica. Hi, Angelica. How are you? I love that eye look in your, in your uh, um, thumbnail. That would be what it's called. And Michael, 6226 Johnson is with us. Hi. I uh, used... Last month, I didn't. I looked at the at, and just realized it was the first. I was thinking for some reason it was the thirtieth, even though I knew Saturday was the thirtieth. My weekends kind of blur together, so I don't know. There was one. It's not St. Paul. It's north of here, wherever that is. Woodbury, maybe. It's up on six ninety four, off of six ninety four East. Yeah. Um, could have gone before I moved to Adana. Yeah, I know, right? It, yeah, it's not too far. I have, haven't been to Golden Corral since it opened in Vegas like 2014. Yeah, it's kind of nice to have it. I don't know a lot of other buffets. I'm surprised more people don't do buffets, but they must. I mean, it must be hard to, like, figure out how to make a living. Because I know, I know, like, places um, like the Chinese buffet and stuff. I know, like, when they get, in the, get the seafood out and all of that, that gets, gets expensive, especially now. And so um, when they... I know a lot of the money they're making is from like seniors that go and eat one plate and sit and drink coffee for like three hours, um, <laughs> you know, like in the middle of the day or something like that. And then like kids and stuff like that, because when people go and actually take all the meat, that's when they, that's when they can lose money, but which is what we do. My honest product reviews is with us and uh, Caleb. Okay. I had to look at that for a second. Caleb is my name is with us. And uh, Linda says, my week could have been better. Had a flare up from my fibromyalgia, but still going strong. Oh, not fun. Becky's makeup is with us. Tinkerbell Fairy is with us. And Linda says they had Tex-Mex Tex food today. Do they have good Tex-Mex in Europe? I mean, I'm sure they do. It's, 
it's just it's just funny we think of like we are the people it's kind of like you know italian food here in the u.s we have some of the best italian food in the u.s but it comes from of course authentic italian so uh, i live in the valley now like 30 minutes away from la fun times well i don't live over there i live in minnesota and it's cool and rainy it's not that cold but it's rainy so it kind of feels more cold so i am wearing my sweater dress that i got at old navy <laughs> i forgot where i got it brown eyed beauties with us hi welcome everybody if i haven't said welcome 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 the lippy color we'll talk about that it's like coming off in spots but it is actually what i applied this morning and i did eat lunch with it so um creole food too oh yeah creole food's good but what what kind of creole food because the creole food my husband has versus the creole you know there's creole food there's cajun food there's yeah uh pan the shade is with us oh girl last night i decided to stop breastfeeding and my two-year-old is freaking out oh man sadness Ugh. life is ending right i know you know it was it was funny i was having that conversation with some people about how some people freak out about like breastfeeding basically when the kid can walk or once the kid starts pulling on your shirt, they're like, then it's time. I'm like, the kid's going to pull on your shirt at like six months or before that. Like, that's just, you know, Hey, I'm hungry. And people are like freak out. Why is it that Americans freak out about boobs? Linda, did we talk about this before? Um, <laughs> Americans are so freaked out about boobs and I, you know, because mine have always been like bigger than normal. Um, and, you know, basically since I was 10, I had double D's. And so I'm like, you know, I, for a long time, I was just like really insecure and like, you know, ashamed. And then I was just like, God made me like this. You know, if, if people have a problem with my boobs, that's their problem. Like, why is it that we are so obsessed with breasts in the United States? And, and I think white culture in general, like Europeans, are more so like, you know, there's like Europeans that like to get the boob jobs and stuff. And also uh, Hispanics, a lot of Hispanics, you know, like um, breast jobs, boob jobs are really popular in like Brazil and stuff like that too. So it's not just Americans, but it's like, oh my goodness. Cause like go to Haiti and women are just like, they're breasts. They're not, they're, they might be sex sensual, but they're not a sexual thing. So in the same way that they are here i don't know people are weird it's kind of like lips are extremely se sensual but we don't hide those at least not in this culture but some cultures do unless you're masking <laughs> so linda said she liked my lips lippy this is what i'm wearing this is european essence color boost mad about matte liquid lipstick this is the only one i have of this but i do like it i actually put it on over the top of this lys lip mask is it called it oh it's treatment oil yeah so it's basically just a lip balm sort of thing um and i put it over the top and so it was a little bit sticky but i like to do that because i don't like it super dry so um here too i have an f cup sometimes yeah my mine um before i started getting old and it started to deflate <laughs> it's funny how they're just like <laughs> like a flat tire <laughs> but mine was an h yeah now now it's a little you know, less, but now I have all this back and shoulder pain and stuff like that. We've talked about that. Miss Charlie's here. Miss Charlie and I are talking about our boobs um, and getting them cut off. Not cut off, but reduced. My husband, like, when I say that, he kind of looks at me like. <laughs> My mom had had a double mastectomy. Mastectomy. There's no T in there, right? Mastectomy. I mean, there's no T in the middle. Um, and she, um, so my husband's like, mm, yeah. Uh, I have been trying for months, but I couldn't. Had a mental breakdown the other night and said, I'm done. Yeah, you know what? I guess it's time, right? Lomi is with us. Hi, Lomi. How's it going? I like chicken. <laughs> Lomi likes chicken. Okay, good. I like chicken too. Did I eat chicken today? I think I did have a piece of barbecue chicken. Um, got my cut off, lost 10, 10 pounds. I, you know what? And that's the thing is it's just, you know, and people are like, oh, I'm going to lose weight. I'm not losing weight for, for, to look good. Cause I look cute. I'm cute. Y'all. Um, I don't care about that. Like, honestly, uh, it's the weight of that they're pulling on me and my neck and shoulder and my back, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I could definitely stand to lose the weight. Anyway, this is a cute lip color and it is in the color mad matters. But it's not actually, uh, this is all mostly worn off. 
or a much worn off, but it is stained. So you can see on the on the edge, it's a little bit darker, like right here. You can see that's darker. We had fried chicken for dinner today. Woohoo! Fried chicken. You know, it's just classic. Fried chicken is just a good go-to. It's like almost everybody likes fried chicken. I've only met like two people in my entire life that didn't like it. I don't remember who those people are because I wrote them out of my life. I didn't need that negativity. Just kidding. I actually don't know if that's, if that's true at all. I probably just lied to you. Guys, oh, I want to lose more for my health. Um, Yeah, you know what? Losing weight is not as much tied to health as people think it is. Um, it's actually more the other way around. Now, there is some stuff. For example, me, because of this crazy weight thing, because of this and, you know, everything else in general, my sh and just because I'm getting old, my shoulders and neck, I, I constantly are, am stiff and, and sore in my shoulders and neck. And because I've had that injury, went to the chiropractor three times. He's like, well, I guess this is the I think they only, my insurance probably only pays for six a year. That's usually the case. Um, yeah, I don't know. But my back. And so it's kind of like this. If, if I weighed less, I would be able to move a little bit easier. But at the same time, yeah, health is less associated with weight to, 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 join, to gain the weight in the first place. And not necessarily habits, but environment, because environment is more indicative of how you gain weight than actual. And now we're talking about waffles and maple syrup. Yeah, right. Okay. You know what? Um, <laughs> Linda says, I want to lose more weight for my health with waffles and maple syrup. <laughs> Linda, Linda, I know you're talking about fried chicken, but still, <laughs> those statements going together. Okay, and Angelica says she loves my earrings. Thanks. These came from Shop Miss A. They were $1. They're just little um, wire frames wrapped in this fabric, and they match my glasses. So I thought, yeah, why not? I mean, more or less match my glasses. Uh, yeah, one dollar. Here, I thought they were cute. They work today. This is the first time I'm wearing them. Ala Abdo is with us. Hi, D K Kobe. D K Kobe. I think I guess it's Kobe. I don't know why I'm wanting to make that an e, like a French Kobe. I don't know. Maybe it is French. I need to lose weight and work my body out so I can look good for my man. You know what? You look good for your man, and do not try to lose weight so you look good for your man. Because first of all, you look good, and your man thinks you look good. So it has nothing to do with that. Secondly, if you try to lose weight for your man, then you are essentially saying that when you look bigger, that you are not worthy of him. And that's complete nonsense because it does not have to do with looks. It does not. In fact, women are more picky about looks than men are, generally speaking. Better for my fibro. Yeah. And that's the thing with me, like, like losing weight, like taking, like the fact that if I got a reduction, it would actually make me weigh less. And um, even though it actually probably would make me look bigger because then it's possible my stomach would be up more than my boobs, which is the one thing that I've been like, okay, at least if my boobs are, stand out bigger than my stomach, then, then we're okay, right? Then I still have like a, a figure, but it's still just the fact that it wouldn't be as much pulling on my shoulder and my neck. <sighs> Fluffy smiles with us. So we have the gang here pretty much. Everybody's here. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. This is so much fun. My husband just goes and lays in the bed like, you're making a video? Okay, I'm going to bed. He's going to go hang hang out in there and watch YouTube videos. The kids are running around chasing each other because that's what they do, my little fur kids. They're having fun. They love each other immensely. They rub up against each other and sniff each other and just like to be around each other. It's nice to have kids that like each other, right? Uh, he's told me multiple times he don't care about my weight, but I still feel self-conscious because this has been the biggest, you know, and that's the thing that irritates me. I'm the biggest I've ever been by quite a bit, but I'm cute. And my husband is still turned on. <laughs> I don't know if I could say this on here. Cause it's going to be, it's going to be cut forever, but I'm going to say it anyhow. And somebody someday when I run for president, they're going to pull it up and be like, Hmm. <laughs> She talks freely about her sex life. No, it was funny because the other day, you know, I'm the, I'm the person who will run through the, through the house without any clothes on it and sleep naked. And my husband's like so paranoid about that because, well, and, and part of it, you know, like things like the earthquake and, and things like that, you know, there's stuff that happens in Haiti that, 
you know, suddenly you need help. And if you're, if you're naked, <laughs> it's going to be a little bit weird, but also there is kind of this like protection of female, you know, like in general. And, and that's not paternalism as much as people think it is, but that's a different subject. Um, but anyway, so he was kind of like, Oh my goodness, you can't be naked in the house. And I'm just like, why it's my house. You know, people want to see me and I'm not, then they have to pay me. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's my house. What are they doing in my house? Looking at me anyhow. And so, um, yeah, he's, uh, I, I walked through the house, I took a shower, walked through the house. And then he's like, well, we had, cause we have opposite schedules. So that kind of like, uh, rearranges our love life. Um, because he gets home like, you know, three o'clock, three o'clock in the morning and I'm sleeping. So anyway, I, I take a shower, I walk through the house and he's like, baby. I'm like, yeah. He's like, did you call me? I'm like, no. Why? He's like, do you need me? <laughs> and I was like, what? And he's like, do you need me to come help you with something? And I was like, help me with my, what? And he's like, in the bedroom. <laughs> and I was like, oh, really? You have to wait till after I take a shower. Cause then I have to take another shower. <laughs> so he was like, uh, it was funny though, but it was, it, it feels good to know that even with all that, he's still attracted to me enough that he has to, he sees me walk naked through the house, me and all my fat glory. And he's still like, Hmm, I'm going to go visit her. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know what? That's the thing. Don't do. <sighs> Honestly, men like men, like a little bit more. They do almost always. They like girls that are, are soft. And it's, I'm bigger than when my, me and my hubby, oh, wait, okay, I can't read. Miss Charlie says, I'm bigger than when we met. My hubby loves me more every day. We've been, that's the thing. It has nothing to do with the way you look now. My husband is finer every day. Like, don't tell him I said that because then he's going to get a big head. But this man, mm, no, and I don't know, just saying that, like he lived, like, and he just has a, he just has a body. He's like, I mean, he does spend a lot of time at the gym and that's what he loves. He loves to go to the gym. I, you know, I like to, to work out, like to exercise. I like to hike. That's my thing. And it's hard, but you know, to, to do that here, but uh, in the winter time, because our winters are so long and honestly, because of all the, my, my muscular pain and stuff like that and joint pain. Um, well, it's mostly muscular and nerve. Um, in the winter time, it's actually, everything just kind of seizes up and I, I'm, it's just agonizing. If I, if I work out, everything will just lock up the next day and it's really hard for me. So our solution is to move. <laughs> so eventually we might do that, but I don't know. Fluffy girls rule. You know what? That's so true. Fluffy girls rule. We do. And I am so glad that now people are starting to realize that. I know like in the, uh, in the middle America and also European white cultures are such an obsession with being thin. And my husband, he can't understand it. He sees these really skinny girls and he's like, eh? like, why? <laughs> and I'm like, that's, I mean, and it's okay. You know, I've got nieces that are super, super thin too. And he's like, you know, and he just kind of laughs and teases them about being thin, but you know, because in Haiti, that would be like, you wouldn't be attractive at all. But here, that's like what they want. My husband says bones are for dogs. Men love meat. Exactly. Ah, that's that's exactly right. Something just happened here. Let me see what I missed. Somebody sent me a message. Oh, that it was my husband saying something. Oh, okay. So you can move to Ohio. You know what? We're talking about actually Indiana, which isn't too far. So his cousin is in Indiana. I don't know why. There's nothing in Indiana. I have nothing in Indiana to move there for. I'm not inspired to go there, but his cousin's there. And so that's why he's kind of thinking that. I was actually thinking more Texas because I haven't lived there before and I know people there. I don't know. J uh, L J W R N Y S T is with us and Kamingo is with us. And uh, Eva, oh, I can't. Ivana's, oh my goodness. Okay, Ivana's Glow World. I'm like, I know I know, I can split that up, but for somehow it wasn't working. Hi, Ivana. <laughs> Eva, 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 yeah, okay. Ivana, right? Is that correct? Okay. 
I think that's correct. <laughs> We're talking about all sorts of things. We haven't even gotten into the meat of this conversation yet. So, but anyway, yeah, the, so the dress, this sweater dress is really cute. I paid $3.47 for it at Old Navy on clearance. Thank you very much. This is the smaller one of the two. This was a 2X and the other one was 3X, which is quite a bit big for me, but it's comfortable and I figure I can always take it in. Did I see the new JSC banana fetish? I saw a little bit of it. That man and his preoccupation with his with his wee wee and other people's wee wees is just it's a turn off. I don't care. I don't care. Like how good your products are. If everything is just like, here's my wee wee. And I don't want to be thinking about that every time. I just don't. I don't. No, not interested. Um, I'm not, you know, I don't care. It's one thing. But I just like it, it's just kind of like repulsive. Like if you have to talk about it that much. You have a problem. You do. It's, you just do. I'm sorry. Um, I'll catch you on the next live. We're about to watch a movie. All right. Enjoy your movie. I'll see you in the next one. You can watch the, you can watch the recording of this too. It should be up. Uh, Gracie is, uh, oh, Graciela. Sorry. Graciela Ruiz is with us. I was trying to say Gracie and then I realized there's more letters. Graciela. Hola. Um, okay. So we are good. Speaking of Yesterday we had a worship service at our Native church, Native American church, and it was a um, multicultural, multilingual service, and so it was kind of fun. We had um, Native components and African components, um, and then a very mixed group of musicians, and we sang in English, Spanish, French, Haitian Creole, and Arabic. I think that's it. Um and then uh, had prayers in Spanish in, in um, Korean. So yeah, that was, uh, it was so much fun. And it's, oh, I love to get together with just different people and, and learn from each other and stuff. So great. Um, Millonetas, is that, is it Millonetas or Millonetas? I don't know if it's Spanish or not. Viviana is with us. Hi, Viviana. So welcome to everyone here. We are going to go through the last 10 palettes that I use. I think there's 10 in here. And I'm actually going to grab this one here and tell you what I think of this as well. I only used this a couple times, but I'm going to give you my opinion. Keep in mind, and I'm going to do this one first, and I'm not ranking it because it doesn't deserve to be ranked because I'm... It, not that it doesn't deserve. I shouldn't be ranking it because I didn't use it three times. Also, um, this is not her current um, formula. So maybe he has a shrimp. You know what? That's usually the case. So they talk about like men that have big pickup trucks are compensating. I think when you have to talk about, um, and, and in general, I think anything you have to like obsess about, and it couldn't be anything. Um, I, you know, like I am a woman. Oh my goodness. I am a woman. Did you notice I'm a woman? Hey, by the way, I'm a woman. Any people that are like that, like super feminists who just like, that's all they can talk about. Clearly you're insecure because yeah. Um, you, you're not as confident. If you have to talk about it all the time, you're not confident about it. Just, just saying. Anyway, um, so this is from Pout and Shout. I love her so dearly. She is such a sweetheart. Um, and she is so, oh. She is so talented. Uh, look at those kitty cats. Aren't they beautiful? I love them. That's why I got it because it was cute. And then this, this, this is a one of the kind, one of a kind. It's this color story. Um, it is pretty light and neutral. And I just kind of used it to add to the look. So I, I didn't use it by itself at all. I knew I wasn't going to. That's why it was in my basket for the month. But I just wanted to get some use out of it before I essentially retire into status of collector, my collection, um, because thrown in it. This was one of the ones that I wanted because it's purpley. Look at that. It's super cute, but I'm not going to judge the formula or anything like that because it's with it. It worked fine. Um, but her formula now is better. So that's why I don't want to. All right. Here's, I made, I did a little cheat because yesterday for the, the, uh, international worship service that we were having, uh, worship celebration is what it was. Um, I did green and orange eyes. And with the, with the palette I was using, guys, this is the glam like cake palette, which I noticed Miss Charlie has been doing some stuff with as well. And I think we both got this at TJ Maxx. Was it TJ Maxx we found in there? Or Marshall's, one of the two. Anyway, there's the palette. Super cute. I use this green, which is 
a little darker than it looks in the pan to me. But then again, on my skin tone, it could just be that it was my skin tone or whatnot too. Um, and then I use like the yellows, the orange, and the, the red and the brown a little bit too, to um, deepen it. And then I used mostly this orange and that yellow on the lid. Super cute. And I'm excited to get in here some more, especially like this corner and this corner, I think are really nice because I'm all about neutral is not neutral. There's no such thing as neutral. Did you know that? We talked about that before. It's not neutral. It's pink or red based. So basically there's the three primary colors, right? Which are blue, yellow is your primary undertone. So when people say that they're cool tone, that means they're blue toned. When they say they're warm tone, that means they're yellow toned or some, tone, you know, combination of those. And when they say that they're neutral, it actually means they're red toned, not neutral. And that, again, that can be a combination. So you can be a warm neutral or you can be a cool neutral, meaning you're either swinging more on the purple side of red or you're swinging more on the orange side of red. Um, but people are like, they, they, years ago, our forefathers or our foremothers <laughs> invented this idea of cool, warm, and neutral. Just went with it, not realizing that it's actually the three primary colors of what we we're dealing with. So, yeah. Yeah, you said, uh, Linda said she's cool tone. Um, Charlie, I think you're cool tone too, right? You, al you always look so good in cool tone, so I think you are. Um, I found it at Marshall's, posted a collab look. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, oh, yeah, I, I was using that too. So it's such a cute palette. Um, uh, Frigo Franz is with us. Frigo Franz. Don't forget green. Yeah, and green, that's the thing is green is warm and cool combined. So that's that's a whole different thing, right? That's a combination of the two, which is olive. And that has its own classification, but we don't have like an orange classification and we don't have a purple classification. Even those, those are skin tones. But, you know, yeah. So anyway, and I, I would say I'm more of a slightly cool toned red. So I'm probably on the purple side. That's why my hair looks like it matches. By the way, I took a box. I don't even remember which one it was, but a bo I, I think I showed it when I got it. And then it's just been sitting there for a while. And I just did the halo. So I just took the top part of my hair and dyed that. And I left the bottom. I like these streaks of gray here. I'm glorying in my gray, in my gray wisdom that's growing out of my head. And then I just left all the, the bottom combination of whatnot. So that was kind of fun. So that's what's happened with my hair lately. Um, oh, by the way, my nails are awful. I didn't do them. Do you see how ugly they are? This one is still a press on the rest of them. Hmm. The glue that I got that I was hoping would work, but I did get stickers from Amazon and they worked pretty decently on this one for a couple of days and then it came off, but I'm like, well, it still makes sense. I don't know. I'm going to play with it some more and see if it'll work. But yeah, that glue that I got, no, because it'll stay on. It was on this one. It stayed on just nicely. And then I'm playing and then my nail just like popped off. I was like, well, so much for that. Pink undertone. I'm fair. Olive, olive undertones and pink. Oh, you have pink undertones. Okay. Um, oh yeah. I thought you said you have olive undertones. Wait, hold on. So you have pink cool tones. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. You said olive, but you weren't talking about you. <laughs> Sometimes it takes me a second, okay? Sometimes I have to go rewind and then look at all the messages and see where what we were talking about and stuff. All right, guys. So basically in the order of what I think. Now, this pile of stuff, I'm going to rate it just based on how much it captured my heart or not. Um, and I like the looks that I did with, with the majority of these, but I'll tell you why I like them less or why I like them more. <clears throat> so the first one that I'm going to pull up here is the Profusion Pastel Palette. This is their new pastel palette that they weirdly came out with in the fall. Um, but that's okay because, you know, whatever. I guess you come out with whatever, whenever you want. Um, this is actually one of their better colorful palettes, in my opinion. I think that it has a little bit more staying power. I think that the performance is a little bit better. And I think it's partly because some of these are like, like those diamond, uh, crystal, whatever they are, what do they call it with the little diamondy dust in them that doesn't really show up on the lid, but it does make them perform a little bit better for some reason. I'm in search for comfy. Oh, it's good. And comfy black lippy. Yeah. Um, I just don't trust black lippies. I have this, I tend to have this kind of, what part part here that shows and so if i put like a weird you know weird like a, a bold 
color that's not actual lip color. It gives me that cat butthole effect. Christelle Strecker is with us. Hi, Christelle. How are you? Um, Miss Charlie says her favorite black is from Juvia. So check that out. I love Juvia's place, by the way. Sorry, my cleavage itches. Um, so I'm going to just reach in there and scratch because that's what we're doing. Um, all right, we're good. Yeah, so I need to get more Juvia's place lippies. This is, this is decent if you like pastels. Um, actually, Linda, this would probably be a good, pa a good palette for you because you're um, lighter toned and you probably would really enjoy this. It's cute. I'm just not into pastels that much. But since I was really on a perfusion kick for quite a while because they were my gateway drug into <laughs> what I'm now surrounded by, um, that, yeah, I just kind of was loyal to them. I, I'm less so now. Um, they've, I, yeah, I've, I've become less excited, but, um, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a nice palette. The next one, I again had some good looks with it, but my issue with it really is the two shimmers. So this is the Natasha Denona Jubilee palette, the one that they had in conjunction with Boxy, I do believe. Um, uh, so these two are mattes here. This one is not black. It's a teal. Um, oops, that looks black. That's actually a teal green. There we go. Um, and it does not come out true to pan at all. I mean, you can't get it true to pan because it won't come that black. It'll come like what I put here and then a little bit darker than that. This shimmer and this shimmer are the problems. They're okay if you have perfect eyelids, but if you don't, they're going to show every wrinkle and crinkle on your eyelids, especially this one does. Um, I do like, you know, that blonde yellow, bright yellow sort of thing, but it really just emphasizes texture. And then other than that, there's only so much you can do with that color story. It's a nice color story. And I think it's nice for a vacation. I would probably take it in on vacation. Um, cause I think there's just fun stuff that you can do, especially this teal. This teal is the, is the winner in the palette. This one here, the dark one. Um, and then these two are fine for kind of blending out. This pink one's better. This one is more skin tone, so that's not going to really do much. But the pink one is kind of cute. So, Talia Jean. Hi, Talia Jean. So, we're ranking the palettes that I used last month. And ignore my nails because they're horrendous. But that's okay. You still love me, right? Um, yeah, it's okay. I have not used any other Natasha Denona other than this one and the neutral one that came along with this. So, the, my opinion of Natasha Denona is not great, but I'm also aware that that's not her regular formula. So, <clears throat> Take it with a grain of salt. Salt, um, but it's an it's an okay palette. It's just not that great. If I was going to declutter one, it would probably be this because I just am not that into pastels, and I don't love that particular palette. Next, oh, I like you a lot. I really wanted this because everybody was like, "It's such a good purple palette." It is. However, I got itches all over the place. Apparently, however, these shimmers, of which there are four, are really similar. Shimmler. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. They're shimmler. The shimmers are shimmler. Um, oops, that was not a shimmer. I stuck my finger in the wrong one. <laughs> I was like, that's actually, there we go. So you see these two on this end and this, these two on this end, they come out really, really, really similar. Shimmler. And so, um, <laughs> I'm going to be using that now. Really shimmer shimmers. Uh, yeah. And it really, the looks that I created with this were shockingly similar. Shimmer. Sorry. Um, sorry, not sorry. This one, you know, I, mean, I mean, you're not going to use it on its own probably. At least I'm not going to. Um, these are okay, but they really, this just comes out as a darker version of that. Really. I mean, there's. There's not really much to do. I mean, you didn't need both of these. You could have used this one and then used like a gray or something that's like a deep plum. That would make more sense. I know they're going with the lilac light thing and that's fine. That's, you know, that's cool. But I do like it. I like the looks that it gives. It's just that when I do the next look the second day, it looks really shockingly similar to the first day. <sighs> I'll stop saying similar now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a cute, it's a cute palette. I'm, you know, color pop, you know, I'm, eh, it's aight. It's funny because for the longest time they were getting so much hype and I was like, I don't have any color pop. I mean, I wasn't that into, into makeup at that time. And I was also not in the United States. And so it was hard to get 
Um, but then I got him and I was like, oh, okay. Hmm. I used the light pink toned blend. I think that's what that's supposed to say. I'm not sure. Um, oh, pink, the light pink to blend. Okay, yeah. Um, I use the light pink to tink. <laughs> yes, to blend. Yeah, but then why do we need this one? If we have that, then why do we need this, right? You get you get what I mean? You get you get what I'm what I'm you know yeah. Um yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Uh it's just not super inventive. That's why it's at the bottom of the pile. But I do like it and it's you know, it'll stay in my collection at least for the time being. I the one from color the one from ColourPop that I'm actually interested in is the rock candy. That one I was really, really interested in the Stone Cold Fox. But the rock candy one, I think, is even a little bit better because it is still cool toned ish, but leans a little bit more colored. Um, and Stone Cold Fox, while it was really enticing me, I was also like, do I really need that many neutral taupey colors? So I think that the rock candy might be good. So I might actually pick that one up. But speaking of taupey neutral colors, this number seven palette is really pretty. By the way, this is smoky. If you're one, this is their smoky palette. Um, and it is really nice. And it is very much like the Tar Tom Ford formula. For a lot less money. Um, it has that like satiny sort of really easy to blend. Um, they almost look like mattes on the, on the, <laughs> she's just sharpening her claws on her little scratchy pad. Um, yeah, it almost look, it, it doesn't look shimmery. It looks like almost like matte. So they're, they're, it's really pretty. Um, and I think, you know, I did some pretty cute looks with it. You're not going to get anything extremely anything with this, but I do think that it, it this one is, is the closest to not being a shimmer. Um, I want the flutter by, and that's taupe from ColourPop. Uh, that's taupe is one that I did look at as well. But again, I think that rock candy probably has that in it for the most part and flutter by, I did see that one. That one looks cute, but there's also, what's the other purple one that they had? That's like the, um, orchid or kid you not. Yeah. Is it orchid you not or something like that? That's another punny one. So, but yeah, this is very nice. And the, and you really do get a beautiful range here. This really goes to quite a, a nice dark charcoal it's not super black but it does blend out well um to be quite quite deep so that's um that works to deepen the other ones nicely and then you've got a little bit of color here in the middle and then you've kind of got the taupey brown sort of shade so if you like cool tones highly recommend this as a really good neutral palette the reason it's only number four for me Oh, it's my pleasure. Yeah, that's another one, but that's that's a different one. But there's also the Orchid You Not one. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. But yeah, it's my it's my pleasure. I know I saw both of those and I was like, eee! and that's what that's actually what gets me with ColourPop is like because they have so much stuff and all of their stuff is so close to the one before. And I'm like, well, which one would I get? And then I can't decide, so I just don't pick anything. That's what they, I mean, I think they've lost more people because they have too many offerings. They have too many options and they're too similar. Um, anyway, so the reason this is number four is because it's neutral, but it's really nice. If they come out, came out with a colorful palette, honey, but that's just not their, that's not their forte. I just posted this one. This is the Juvia's Place Blushed Rose that they came out with last year. And rosy colors are all the all the rage apparently right now. I'm not doing that for next month. Next month is not going to be rosy for me. This month. Sorry, not next month. This month is not going to be rosy. It's going to be rainbows. And I know people think that June is a rainbow month. Nope, it's not. Nope. I refuse that. It's May. Why? Because it is for... Um, neurodivergence awareness and whatnot support, not awareness support. Yeah. You know what? Whatever. Uh, they bring out too much. Yeah. They definitely bring out too much. This is a very beautiful rosy palette. Very beautiful. So you've got your like baby pink, you got your really nice neutral, 
Um, I know my fingernails are just distracting to me to try to ignore them. Um, um, rose color. Then you've got your bright pink and then you've got your like almost brick. And that's just, to me, that's what I wish this one would have done more is realize you can actually have a lot of diversity and it still be rosed, right? Rosed, rose. That's all, those are all rosy tones, but they're different kinds of rosy tones. I wish they would realize that with this one, but they did not. And then also, it, just because you're doing a monochrome palette doesn't mean it has to be so monochrome that you don't put in something like this. This little apricot sort of uh, shimmer is so cute. It's like almost orange and almost gold and and a little bit of apricot. It's just so pretty. I like it a lot. And then the other one is just a nice. Um, kind of a neutral, rosy, rose gold sort of. Um, so it's beautiful rose looks. If you want a rose tone, I think these are 30% off right now. Love the middle one in the bottom row. Susie's with us. Hi, Susie. How's it going? And Beauty by Sarah. I had to say that because of all of the... You, you like this one? Oh, you said in the middle? I love the middle one in the bottom row. I, I was, Were you talking about this since I had it upside down? You're talking about the apricot one? Is it apricot or apricot? I grew up saying apricot, and then for some reason I started saying apricot, and then that's just what I say now, apparently. That must be metal, because this one's sticking to it. All right, the next one, the reason that this one is not towards the top, well, I, I can show you what this is. So this is uh, Kaleidos Futurism 6. I had to think about my my uh roman numerals hi sarah how's it going how's your sunday we are talking about palettes that i use the last 10 palettes they are not necessarily new palettes in fact i don't think any well one of these is kind of newish which is actually well two of them are kind of newish um this is a beautiful palette however you got two very neutral neutral colors which i'm like mm, okay and then you've got these two which are the other mattes, they're, they're nice. Excuse me. And you've got these two shimmers that are beautiful. Now this actually, ColourPop could take notes because that's really all they needed to do was something like that. Because that's what, uh, nah, yeah. that's what this could have been, right? But also they could have, instead of putting this one in here, I wish they would have done a color like this, but darker. To me, that would have made more sense. And then still have this one. That's okay because then you have that neutral one. I mean, if you if you want it, you don't need it. But yeah, I wish it would have been um, a little bit. There would have been a little bit more depth. I'm doing well as well. I am uh, tired because it's Sunday and I'm always tired on Sunday. Um, and other than that, we're good. Yeah, after this, I'm going to sit around with my fur kids and we're going to hang out. And I might go snuggle with Hubby a little bit if he feels... Uh, not cranky like he's been the last couple days. I have the green one from that series. Yeah, the green one I think is prettier. Uh, I like the green one a lot. And I also have the, what's the other one? The pink shishimi, is that the one it is? Maybe that's the one I have. I don't know, I have three of them because they, they were a special to get three, so I did. Um, anyway, this is really pretty. You can make beautiful looks out of it. But again, it's not going to give you that extreme versati versatility. But I do think this is more versatile than the colors are very different. Right? Yes, very different. Um, so you have one that's definitely more cool tone and one that's more warm tone. Um, and then, yeah, you have the two neutrals and you have the two. That's why this one is number number half. Number five. If we're going number one is the best, right? Number five. Um, okay, next. This is one. I was, I, I'm not, I, I need to use this a little bit more and figure out exactly what's going on. I think some of these are just super extra emollient with the with the shimmers. And so um, they, some of them are creasing, but I just have to play around with it more. Probably not use a base, a sticky base. Because I think that's adding to the bulk of them, and that's just making them crease more. Um, but I did really like the looks that I did. They they did seem to almost fade out a bit. So I had to play with it a little bit more. But I really, I like the overall look. I, I like the diversity of it. Um, it's almost a neutral palette to me. It is a 
rosy palette as well. So if you're into the rosy sort of thing, um, it definitely, you know, other than this row here, that would be a very rosy palette, right? And then you have those little splashes. So I, I really like it. It's a nice palette. Um, and I waited for quite a while to get it and I really wanted it. And then when I had the opportunity, I grabbed it. It was a Ipsy grab. By the way, I put my Ipsy's on hold for this next month. So I won't get Ipsy this next month. And I'm debating about the next month, but I figured I'll put it on hold for now and then see what happens. Now for the surprise. And this is what's on my eyes currently. We did a little halo eye action. By the way, these glasses are, are uh, dirty, but they are also zenny. And yeah, they were, they were like two, two hauls ago, I think something like that. And I thought, I thought that we did a nice job, pretty decent job matching the earrings to the, to the, the uh, glasses. I'm off. Alarm goes off at five in the morning. Okay, Linda, have a good night. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Oops. I missed something. Oops. Oops. Cosmetic CZNY lifestyles with this. Hi, Cosmetic CZNY. I somehow put my keyboard up here and I know I need to get rid of it. And I don't know how to do that because I'm apparently challenged. Oh, there we go. It went away. I just have to tap the tap the screen enough times and it works. All right. So this was a big surprise for me. And that's what's on my eyes today. I expected this to not impress me. I bought this because the color story was too delicious and it still is. So this is she glam. It's my only she glam that I have. God bless. Yes. It's my only she glam that I have. Um, I got, well, I, do I have any other makeup? items some really bad uh, brushes from them i mean not that i mean some of them are okay but just weird ones like this strange like angled flat dense like what what am i supposed to use this for i don't know it's weird um yeah so this color straight look at that so cute this is like my favorite kind of pastels because it's like grungy pastels those greens are just almost like grays and the purples are just muted purples. Love it. Love it. I thought it was not. You do have to build it up. So what I have on my eyes today, uh, I have to think. I have this, which it did take a few swipes to get that built up at the top. And then I put this, of course, to deepen up the inside and outside. Then I used, did I use anything? No, I didn't. I just used this purpley deep one on the outside of the halo and I use this in the inside and then I topped it with this. This color is a sleeper. Okay. Just looks like a bright white, right? Nope. It's a, it's one of those, there you can see it. Iridescent, pretty. It's got teal and purple in it. Um, and it's, so it's so bright. It works so well with this palette. So I've got also got that on my inner corner, if you can see. Um, also this matte white, you know, highlighting white like i okay you can't see it there let me try that again um i use this to highlight my the inside um like my inner corner not just you know inner corner and up to the I, the brow sort of area yesterday and it worked really really well um yeah i i, I really like this palette that um this is a glitter so if you don't like glitter, eh, too bad. But it's a really pretty glitter. And it has, does have teal and, and purple and also some gold and pink in there. Um, yeah, and, it, and that worked fine with, with glitter glue. It's not a, doesn't have a really sticky uh, uh, binder to it. So you want to use a glitter glue with that. But uh, I don't know if this is available anymore because I think I, I bought it like a year ago or something like that. And I haven't used it until now. It is such a pretty color story. It does take a little bit more work to build these up, but because the color story is so beautiful and I like the looks so much that I created with it because they're just that edge, right? They're like, I mean, just what you see there. It's purple, but it's got that grunginess to it. Love, 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 love. So I was really surprised with that. And I might actually look at some more She Glam palettes. I know that they came out with some not too long ago and they come out with some pretty consistently. So if you have any She Glam that you really think I should look at, let me know. SK, SK Liker is with us. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but I mean, what the, how I'm supposed to read that, but welcome. Anyhow, um, 
so yeah, I do like that She Glam palette. It's very cute. And that definitely will be stained. It's not a favorite one because it doesn't perform as well as I would like, but the colors are really cute. Speaking of grungy pastels, are these pastels? I don't know, but it's a grungy bright. This is a grungy bright palette because look at this, that grayed out stuff. Now this is more just straight up bright, but even these are kind of in the muted sort of, it's definitely not pastel, but it's a grungy fact that you can, this is like a chocolate brown, it looks black on the screen, but it's chocolate brown. Um, so this is the Festy Bestie. I hate that name. Ugh. Just sounds like Fester. Ugh. Um, LA Girl, and then it has another name back here, Young, Wild, and Free. I don't know why they call them two different things, because they want to hurt my face, my brain, um, and my eyes, and my in my heart. Yeah. So anyway, it's really, really, really cute palette. And you can do so many looks with this. I mean, I'm still, I'm still just thinking like combining this blue with that, like fuchsia and uh, Dr. Jones. Hi, Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones is in the house with his tinted glasses. Um, man, I didn't answer you. I don't answer anyone. I'm so bad with DMs. I am so bad with DMs guys. I am a busy person. I know I need to look at, I need to look at my DMs. I, I just literally, I, well, this week I've been super busy planning events and stuff like that. And so it's just, I haven't even had like a barely, barely even messaged my mom. So there's that. <laughs> and I was supposed to go visit my mom today and I didn't. So it's going to be mother's day. Um, so anyway, this is such a cute palette. Look at that. Look at those colors. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's wonderful and beautiful. And I love how they, you know, they have this purple, they have this color, and then they have like these in the middle. Now there's a couple of these that are kind of similar, so maybe not necessarily. Um, but other than that, I mean, this side of it is just like perfection. I love the chocolate in there. So yeah, I know one of these days I'll, I'll message you. I just, <sighs> life, I'm trying to survive. Sitting down and doing this, this is like my me time, is to sit down and like do these and kind of talk and talk about. And I also like putting my makeup on in the morning. That's like my me, my me time. Okay, I got 20 minutes to put my makeup on. Better ones that has come out this season. There's not been a lot of stuff that's come out this season. This spring, releases kind of suck. Other this is the um, Sugar Drizzle Butterfly. Be the flawed, quirky, unique, beautiful, and magical person that you are. This is the one that's a misprint, so it's upside down. It's all good because it's beautiful. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, my goodness. These brilliant colors are just, oh, they kill me. I'm just randomly. Do, do, you, even, do you even see those? My tips are. You don't even need anything else in your life. You just need that. Let me just throw this on my eyes because I'm not doing anything else today. And I'm going to go right over the top of what I did. I, just, just because I can. Don't, don't criticize me. Which one I'm going to do with this one because it matches right on top. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can see it, but I can. Now let's do something completely different. Do we want to do gold or green? The answer is yes. All right, so I could put green on the outside. I know I'm putting green over purple. Don't don't worry about it. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> right over the top of the purple. Now let's put gold on the inner corner because we can try to not get it all over the place. I know I'm gonna look crazy right now, but do I care? I don't care. Do you see how cute that is? Let's use this dark one on the outside because you know, may as well use that one too, right? This is actually a dual chrome, this this dark one. So green. Oh my goodness. If you don't like this, you just hate the world. You just, you're just a bad person. You have a bad spirit. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know some people wrote some stuff. So, uh, the swatch are glorious. Are they not? Are they not? They, these shimmers, you, I don't think you can beat these. And the dragonfly palette is even better. Mic drop. I was going to actually drop that like a mic drop, and then I realized that would be a really dumb. Is numero uno. Numero uno. It's so pretty. 
So for this whole month, the ones, there are two that I especially would recommend that you get. These two are so good for spring. If you want some color in your life, it's such a good palette. It's such a good palette. There's not very much. There's only one row of mats. But with shimmers like that, who cares? You absolutely can just take a neutral palette and, and pair it with something like this. Or take something like this that kind of has the whole gamut and then throw this, these shimmers over the top. You're good to go. And then this one. This is such a good. I know it's upside down. Um, this is such a good color story. Good performance. I'll swatch some of these too since we're in the swatching mood apparently. Do that one. The white is chunky, but you know, hey, whatever. Um, and we'll go with this dark greenish color. Those are, look how pretty those are. This one is all chunky. Let me smooth it out so you can see what the white one looks like when it's actually smoothed out, not chunky. This does take a little bit of work, this white one, but it does have that, look how blinding that is. Crazy. Um, this is um, Sugar Drizzle. Highly, highly recommended. It's a little indie brand. She's super, super sweet. And um, yeah, really recommend them. They have this one. The best ones that I have from them, I think, are this one and the Dragonfly palette. But the Pizza Kitty one is really, really good too. Actually, the pickle one. Oh, that pickle palette is so good for a green palette. It's a little six pan gray all of hers so far. But yeah, this one, let me just put these all on my skin so you can see what they look like because I don't have the ability to put more on my eyes, but they're just really beautiful. I know the, the way the sun is, the way the light is catching is not that great, but um, look how pretty those are. So my nephew is complaining because I'm trying to make him give me more songs for, for our events. <laughs> He's not complaining. He just says he doesn't know more songs. Um, that's what I've got. Um, that's what I've got for my palettes. And that's my ranking. And I'm, I'm, I'm holding to it. But I want to show you. Is it just this? I think it's just this that I, that I have. So I've got, I went to the dollar store. Cause I do that sometimes and I picked up some things that I'm curious about. And I think almost all of this is LA colors. I got a whole bunch of nails because since I got this, okay, let me show you those guys. So I got these little sticky things. These are from Amazon. They came from China. Eh, whatever. Um, and there's 600 pieces of the double-sided little sticky things. So a whole bunch of them, 600, you know, I can do my nails a couple of times with 600. That's almost a hundred times. That's like, okay, not almost a hundred. That's like 60 times doing my nails, right? Um, I'm good with the mathematicals. So anyway, these do not have any sticky on the back, but I'm going to use those. And then let me show you all the ones that I got. So these are just the plain ones. And then they have the short square ones. And then they have these little, little geometric ones. Look how cute these are. With a little piece. Look how cute. I like them a lot. And then these guys. Now, these are the coffin shapes, so they're longer, which I don't love. But I thought I could either cut them or I can just deal with the fact that they're longer. I don't know. Um, I'm thinking of maybe cutting them. That might look weird because it'll cut off the point, but it also might be okay. Here's another geometric in the coffin shape, which, again, I don't love, but... They were a dollar, so I'm like, I can doctor them up if I need to. This is a purple one in the coffin shape. You know how to get those because they're purple. Again, those are, those are easy to cut because they're just plain. Um, here's a red in the coffin. And these are all, yeah, these are all a dollar each. There's 12 in here. Um, and the sizes can be a little bit weird, but look how cute that is with the orange stripe on the side. I think that's so cute and retro and, and whatnot. And then these are just white, which you can always use some white ones. So I'm really hoping this works for me. And then these ones are a different brand, but I've gotten this brand before I've showed you. I've, oh, wait, here's a, here's a bright yellow one too. Ha, with the little stripes on it, geometric stripes. 
Um, and these ones, so this has just the little French tips. I was looking at them. I'm like, how cheap do those look? But I'm like, once they go on your fingers, I think they're going to look pretty decent. We're going to see. We're going to find out. And then look at these the little leopard print French tips. They would have actually matched me today. But that's okay. I didn't do that. But I could. And then these ones are French tips white and red. That's a lot of nails. So I'm going to hopefully be trying these out and, and playing with them. And, you know, they're a dollar a piece. So I, I went hog, hog wild. Is that is that the word? I guess that's the word now because I just used it. All right, stay. I've got them all balanced here. They're going to leopard print tips. I know, right? Isn't that cute? I thought they were so cute. I was like, oh, I eat like those. Yeah. But all of them, I mean, they're a dollar a piece. So, right? You can't go wrong. Um, so who is it that said that I need to put some garlic, cut up some garlic and put it here? Oops. One of you guys told me that. I just dropped it. Do is try because this is a ultra nail hardener. Hardener promotes healthy nail growth, strengthens and hardens nails. That's the reason I didn't do anything else with my nails because I'm going to take this off. And see if I can make it work, I don't know if it's just going to completely separate or if it'll act weird or what. But I'm going to try to put the garlic oil in here. I also could just like pierce the little because they're little capsules and so i could just pierce massage it into my nails because i use my regular oils on my nails anyhow so i could just use that on my nails and then cover it with this um so maybe i'll do that instead but i wanted to see if this works i don't know if this is the la colors especially formulated to promote the healthy the growth of healthy natural nails advanced formula it's a dollar it can't be that advanced. well it's a dollar 25 now um Ethyl acetate, butyl acetate, isopropyl alcohol. Yeah, none of that stuff is actually good for your nails. Um, and as far as I can see, there's nothing in here that would actually help your nails. Apply an under nail polish or apply two coats over nail, natural nails alone. For best results, reapply every two to three days. Maybe it's just saying that it like keeps your nails from breaking and that's why it's good for them. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to try it. I'll just put some of that stuff. I'm going to do an experiment. It's cheap stuff. Well, well, I mean, you can't, you can't go too wrong with it. I wore no colors. Yeah. I knew I got four. I'm like, where'd the other one go? And of course, most of them are purple. So this is a little sparkly purple and, and pink uh, fuchsia and teal. My favorite combinations. Isn't it cute? So this is, these are all LA colors as well. I know I don't need another periwinkle one. Let me see if this how close this is to the other one that I had. That other one I got. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. One cannot have too many periwinkle nail polishes. Probably can, actually. That's probably not actually true. Uh, another purple, because why not? And a not purple. So this is a rosy sort of color. I don't have a lot of pink. I think I mentioned that before. So I'm like, I need a kind of a neutral sort of neutral pink. So I got those. And then LA Colors had a whole bunch of makeup there. And I had a whole bunch in my cart. And then I was like, huh, uh, what color is that LA Colors glitter? That is the 447 is the number. Let me have to see if I have an actual color in here. Jewel Tone, it's called. That says jewel tone, but this is four, number 447 right there. Um, yeah. It's cute, isn't it? You like? You like? I like. Uh, too many. You have too many, way, way too many nail polishes. Me too. Because, I, I mean, I, I don't polish my nails that often. I mean, look how bad they are now. So, whatever. But I am going to try the, like, little treatment on my nails and see if that works. But I got these guys. I got these guys. I did get some other makeup y things. Um, transforming Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. Have you been effectively transformed yet? Um, we're, I don't know if I'm transforming myself, but I'm having fun playing. So, you know. <laughs> uh, so, another LA Colors. This is the Shimmer Auto Eyeliner. This one seems to actually really stay. It's supposed to be waterproof. Now, it's a little hard. But it's that silvery color. And I'm hoping, let me see if I can actually get this to go in my waterline. Sometimes when these are like too waxy, they just won't come off. I did use a, 
kind of a flesh tone in my waterline this morning. Um, and it doesn't look like it really stained. It was a LA girl. So it looks like this is going in my waterline, but it's kind of taking a little bit of effort. Um, these might just need to be warmed up a little bit from to work. And it's not, you know, it's not going to stand out a whole lot because it's a shimmer. And so it's a shimmer that, that catches the eye more. But yeah, it does look like it'll work. I'm going to play around with that and see. Because I don't have any silver um, pencils. So that will be my one and only silver pencil for the time being. Until I get another one, maybe. Um, and then I got two lip nasty towel that needs to be washed. You know what? Our local laundry mat, when I went to wash clothes last week, apparently, starting last Wednesday and for the next three Wednesdays, they're giving $1 washes on any of their washers. And they have these ginormous washers that you literally, I could go to all of my neighbors and get their laundry and throw them all in one wash. That might not, you know, that might be kind of gross. I don't know, because I, my neighbors, I don't, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but... And they would, it would wash almost everybody's. Um, I am about to go and wash my truck. Have a wonderful rest of the day to you and everyone else. Yes, Miss Charlie, you too. Enjoy your day. Enjoy washing your truck. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this darker one. This is the, so these are the nude glam um, auto lip liners. And this one's an in inspiration. And this one is in kindness. I like the names. They're very cute and positive. So we're going to do the darker one. These again are a little bit waxy, uh, which I don't mind too much because sometimes it can help it stay on. I did also accidentally overline. I don't usually overline. I got fat lips anyhow, so. I will sometimes adjust down the bottom because my lips are crooked. I don't always do that, but. And then I'll just fill in a little bit. So that's the, the darker one at the top. It's pretty good. I mean, it's not the best of liner I've ever used. It's also not the worst. The fact that it's waxy makes me think that'll stay better. They're $1.25, guys. This is the lighter one, and I'm going to use it at the bottom one just to, you know, for fun because I want to use them both and see how they are. Um, and this one I said, I, I took them out of the package and I slashed and took pictures, but I didn't use them. So this one's kindness. I feel like this is going to be my, my skin color. I mean, my lip color. I feel like this one's almost not showing up, but it is lining. Like, this is really, really my skin tone. I mean, my lip tone. So, yeah, there's, like, the edges, which is kind of what you want lip liner to do. So then I've got two lippies. One is in Pinky Swear, and the other is in Bear With Me. So Pinky Swear is kind of almost lighter. Than, it is lighter than my skin tone, than my lip tone. And I'll use them both. I'll put that one in the middle. And then this one is definitely darker. Um, so let me put this one on first. It's got a little chocolate scent to it. This is slightly more pink than the lip liner. But they're pretty close in shade, I mean uh, depth. I don't, I think they had some, so that's what that looks like. A little bit on the the reddish yellow, you know, like the warm tone red. And then I just take this, the lighter one, and kind of stick it in the middle. They seem nice. Like, that if you just need a lippy, I mean, not that I need more lippies in my life. Um, this is another thing I got. Let me see if I can scoot over and show you. Eh, eh. This little box here. I had a flimsy one, which is actually this, which has my next month's basket stuff in that I have to transfer to my actual basket. Oh, 
over here. <laughs> um, I put my lips in here. So this is big. Oh. Um, and then what I try to do is just take from the front and then put them in the back so that I'm rotating through. Not necessarily, you know, too systematically, but somewhat systematically. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, anyway, I would say these are all pretty good. I don't know if the eyeliner is going to work, but we'll see. And then the last thing I got is this cute cream gel. Oh, I'm having problems here, guys. When I opened it to swatch it, it was kind of, it kind of like half exploded because of the pressure. These tubes do that sometimes because, so I'm going to just tap it down to the end so that it op hopefully opens up a little. Uh, so there's no air pockets in it. Okay, that looks better. Now I'm just going to basically take what's at the top, which is the residual from when I tried to use it. That's what it looks like. So it's pretty close to skin tone. Um, tapped on, it's like that. I guess I can put my glasses on now. That's pretty. Brandon Perez is here. Hi, Brandon Perez. I'm looking at dollar store finds. So it does really blend out into kind of a pretty natural sort of tone. Um, that's a really pretty blush. Um, in person, it picks up really fairly natural and just kind of a nice thing. I think you might get that where you are as well. And of course, I, I didn't blend out the edges super well because I'm just trying to show you the color. Um, but I'll try that. And I think I may actually add that to next month's um, basket along with maybe one of these. I'm going to, um, yeah. So, and then these ones I'll just add to my regular lippy collection. I'll let you know what happens with the nails because I'm still on an adventure trying to figure out how to make my nails cooperate with me. But now I have so many nail polishes. It's ridiculous. And I don't even have as many as Miss Charlie, I don't think. But that's all I've got for you guys. On Wednesday, we will be doing rainbow-ish looks. I expected rainbow to come out and say, what's, what's up, Mom? You said my name. Um, I have a Basque rainbow palette. I don't have a lot of rainbow palettes, but I have some that are very colorful. And so for that, that's what I'm choosing them as. We're going to go through and I'm going to show you palettes to make rainbow looks out of basically palettes that either are rainbowish or that can be used in that capacity more or less, um, including the one that I'm that I'm working with right now, which is that cake palette. So that will be done by Wednesday because I'll use it month, tomorrow and Tuesday, and then I'll start on another one. But you guys will all know uh, what that is, and then I'm going to do a look on each eye. And we'll figure out which one of these, which ones of these palettes I'm going to use for that. I have not decided um, which sort of look with, and that's what we've got here. And we're going to play with rainbow looks because it is um, uh, it is uh, neurodivergence awareness month, and that is something very near and dear to my heart. And um, I think it's a great thing to celebrate because I love our uniquenesses. I love the way we're all a little bit quirky and weird, and that makes them wonderful and great in it the eyes of the Lord. So that's what we'll be doing on Wednesday. I don't know that I'm going to have a full face of anything. I could, I could try for dollar store stuff. I could potentially go back and get LA color stuff and then try to get like, okay, so I've got a blush now. I've got lippies. I know they have some mascara. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, maybe I'll try and, and go to Dollar Tree and see if I can come up with makeup and we'll see if that's better than the one dollar makeup from shop my that is all i have today ladies and gentlemen it has been great seeing you i am so glad for all your support you were all fan fan fantabulous i hope you all enjoy the rest of your sunday and or whatever day this happens to be but you are watching this do me a favor and comment and like it and do all that kind of stuff because that will help um me get more views and that just helps to kind of put things up. And I'm having fun doing this. I hope you guys are too. So um, we'll see you on Wednesday, which is going to be like 8 o'clock-ish in the evening. And until then, bye.